So there are nine steps to the neuroplasticity super protocol, but the overarching theme of the neuroplasticity super protocol is that we first have to trigger neuroplasticity and then we have to consolidate neuroplasticity. Triggering neuroplasticity involves heightened states of alertness and focus, generating a lot of repetitions. I'll walk you through all of these in just a moment. Consolidating neuroplasticity means actually making sure that the brain changes in the ways that we want it to. That literally the connections between these nerve cells, we call neurons in your brain, change and reconnect in the ways that are going to serve you so that going forward, the brain changes and the new behaviors can happen reflexively. The first step in the neuroplasticity super protocol is to get alert. There is simply no chance of triggering neuroplasticity if you are sleepy or if you are asleep. So you might ask, how do I get alert? Well, we're all familiar with the standard ways. Make sure you're hydrated. If you drink caffeine, you might wanna drink caffeine, but today we're not gonna talk about what you can ingest so much as we're gonna talk about what you can do. Now, setting the foundation of your alertness is how well you slept the previous night and the night before that. If you're having trouble sleeping, we also have a journey devoted to sleep and how to get better at falling asleep and staying asleep. Now, assuming that you slept well, and even if you haven't, there are a couple ways to increase your level of alertness. One of the best ways to access heightened levels of alertness that doesn't involve ingesting anything is a behavioral protocol simply using your breathing. You can do this essentially anywhere, anytime. Now, breathing is a pretty complex process, but it basically involves inhales and exhales, which is pretty straightforward. We inhale oxygen, and then we generally exhale carbon dioxide. If you find that your level of alertness isn't what you want it to be, and you want to increase your level of alertness for sake of triggering neuroplasticity, you can simply do what we call cyclic hyperventilation. Cyclic hyperventilation involves taking about 10 to 15 very deep breaths through the nose and then passively exhaling through the mouth. Something like this. Even as I'm doing that, I can feel my body heating up a little bit and my level of alertness going up. And that's because that pattern of breathing generates the release of things like norepinephrine and epinephrine, commonly also called noradrenaline and adrenaline within both the brain and body. Just a few rounds of breathing like that, maybe even just 10 or 15 breaths like that, and you'll quickly find that you are more alert than you were before. And thereby, you are in a better position to start triggering learning. So if you're finding you're too sleepy for whatever reason, get alert by practicing about 10 to 15 cyclic hyperventilation breaths. Again, it's deep inhale through the nose and a passive exhale through the mouth repeated about 10 to 15 times.